Fire badness been shelled for Shangotedo area inside the Lagos at Eli Momo for April 14, 2020. And nobody died, but properties away worth millions of naira he lost inside the badness. Today no be happy day at all for residents and shop owners where they leave for Frank or Jaddy close inside the Shango Tedo Lekki Ekpe Expressway, Lagos. The fire will start around 3 a.m. It destroyed plenty property and shops when the people where they live for the area get them. And then say the fire service men from the Lukeju unit plus Lekki Phase 1 then join body with the Federal Fire Service or Nikon and plus they can reach where the badness of Shelley around 4 a.m. to last last of the fire. So the security staff called me at about um, 3.30 in the morning and um, said that there was fire. So I called the 112. And reported. They responded immediately. The problem was, after that call, I then walked down to this place that early morning. I noticed that it was a big inferno. We weren't seeing the fire people coming, so we called again. So I think it took close to about 30 minutes before they responded. And when they responded, they started working on the fire thing and brought it under control. But um, by then, the fire had gone so badly. They called us yesterday um, around uh, 3.30 uh, a.m. thereabouts that the shop is on fire and you know everybody had to trip out you know try to bring out a uh, property and uh, goods so that everything because we're not really expecting a firefighter because we don't really count on them we have to do all we can to at least rescue most of the goods inside the shop. It was night and everybody was asleep only for us to wake up to people shouting, fire, 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 open your door, turn up your lights, there's fire. We couldn't really trace what happened, but when we came out, there were flames already. We tried to contain the fire, but of course, thanks to um, men of the Federal Fire Service, they came to our rescue at about 5.30 or so, they were already here. Just this morning that I come up to see the extent of loss that was, uh, I think about six shops are burned down. Uh, and from my look, they were all electrical shops. Some of the shop owners just opened their shop this um, January. So the extent of loss is, is, is massive. And one representative for the fire service man in Yan say we think caused the fire an electrical spark. And the residents then confirm say the power supply for the area say it no make sense at all. I think the reason why this fire caught, I think it's because of Nepal. Nothing more. Because the light in this area has been so terrible and bad. They use it as experiments. I've been trying to get in touch with the Eco distribution company so they could come and help us uh, access the damage first and then decide whether we need to do certain things there to get back light because right now we don't have any light.